first trailer for Krampus has just hit the web. The film is directed by Trick or Treat Helmer Michael Doherty and is described as follows. When his dis- dysfunctional family clashes over the holidays, young Max is disillusioned and turns his back on Christmas. Little does he know this lack of festive spirit has unleashed the wrath of Krampus, a demonic force of ancient evil intent on punishing non-believers. All hell breaks loose as beloved holiday icons take on a monstrous life of their own, laying siege to the fractured family's home and forcing them to fight for each other if they hope to survive. Schnepp, do you buy or sell this first trailer for Krampus? I buy the trailer. Um, I was, I was, it was between buy and sell because it's like it borders. I'm going to buy it right for right now, but it borders on that like comedy horror that I'm not a big fan of. And to the beginning of the tra- of the trailer, I'd say the first half, I was like, I don't like this film. I don't like the way it's going. I don't like the setup. And then once they reveal the creepy, weird dwarves or whatever, the little Krampus, his little friends, his little helpers, his mm-hmm. little helpers with the weird faces, and Krampus got those like hooves and he looks freaky. If there's enough of that in this movie and there's enough really cool tense scenes, like that little kid hiding under the you know car with a kink, 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 you know, then I <clears throat> I'm buying it. But if you know if it's like corny, if it's too corny, I'm selling it. So it's so right now I'm buying it. I am tentatively going to sell it. I, I was excited about the premise of the film. Right. I, I'm like a lot of TV shows have been having Krampus episodes. The Grimm had a big Krampus episode. Even uh, the League had a, a Krampus right. episode and stuff like that. I've been looking forward to it. And the movie might be great. I, I'm, I'm not passing any judgment mm-hmm. on the movie, but just on the trailer, I, if the trailer's job is to get me more invested and more excited for the movie, then I got to sell. This trailer didn't do it for me. It did, didn't get me more excited for the film. So I'm going to hold out hope that the next one will be better. Was excited to see that Adam Scott was in. I totally sure. forgot that Adam Scott. I'm actually a big fan of Adam Scott. So we'll see. But for now, I'm going to give it a sell. Uh, I buy the trailer. I was excited about this. I got to see a little bit more of this at Comic-Con, and I got to see a little bit of a panel on it, so I had some background as to what it is, but the trailer itself on its own merit still made me want to buy it. The Adam Scott thing is interesting, because I love Adam Scott as a as a comedic actor, but then you have Schnapp's thoughts where it's like, well, is this a horror movie or is it a comedy? Sometimes that can work well. It's a very narrow line, and I don't want this to be Gremlins, where it's funnier than it is scary. Gremlins is great, but for something like Krampus, I want to get <laughs> scared, and I think you're going to get that. I think this is much more in a Sam Raimi vein, like a like a drag me to hell situation right. where there's going to be laughs in there, but it's also because we're so scared that we have to laugh just so we can let something release from our body because we're just so terrified watching this. I was going to add that it's like it's Michael Doherty who did Trick or Treat. Right. And that anthology film was really fun. It had some hits and misses in it, but I overall really liked it. So I was looking forward to seeing this. You know, I knew he was doing this. He's a writing, directing. He's also worked a lot with Brian Singer, done a lot of the X-Men movies and stuff. So he's definitely got a lot of, you know, stuff under his belt. But, like, once again, this feels very uneven. So, you know, the jury's out. But for right now, I'm going to buy the trailer. And he just did what the culture does, where he skipped right over Thanksgiving. He went right from Halloween <laughs> to making a seasonal Christmas movie. I wanted Thanksgiving horror movie. Is that too much to ask? 